We're going to talk about the introduction of the weighted fixturing, and we're going to go through this. I'm going to do my best to explain it. And we'll start with the teams that finished first to sixth last year. And effectively, top six teams will play two teams twice and a maximum of three of the other top six teams from the previous year on three occasions. And you'll see as we work away our work our way from left to right that as you work into the middle tier and bottom tier teams that the weighting starts to taper off. So just the explanation and the reasoning from an AFL point of view as to why you think that this is an important introduction to the fixture for next year. Yeah, there's probably three, three parts, I guess, to give the answer. The first is... I think everyone knows that the AFL can't support a competition that has every club playing twice, venue-wise, player load-wise, um, and that creates some inequities in our fixture. Secondly, um, I think the industry and the public agree that uncertainty of results is crucial to the sustainability and success of the competition. Uh, and for those two reasons, uh, it's our view that we've decided to go with a more transparent system uh, that means that in the six in which you finished the year prior, um, the bulk of your second round matches, of which you have five, we played against the other five teams in your group of six. So you will play simply guaranteed two or three times in that group and the remaining two or three games come from either side of you. Well, time to have a bit of a look at uh, what teams who do, does play each other twice. So uh, we put up the graphic as what are you, you just beautifully explained. So well <laughs> done on that. Um, so we've got, to, got the teams there, top six teams. Uh, we go through uh, Hawthorne, Fremantle. I mean, the top six teams don't really have an easy draw, but if you had to look right at the top there, Hawthorne seem to have the harder teams out of everyone there. They've got the uh, toughest draw when it comes to teams played. If we look at the uh, middle group, um, of course, there's uh, some teams in there that have, haven't necessarily done as well. I had hopes of playing finals football that didn't. Uh, I guess the one there at the, at the moment that highlights of the hardest is Collingwood. Um, advent, advantageous probably North Melbourne in that group, grouping there. Uh, Collingwood is offset by the fact that they play so many MCG games. And the last and the bottom six, of course, uh, West Coast is probably the standout there, mm. given the fact that they're probably a top eight side that slid last year. They've got three teams in the bottom in the bottom six, so they seem to have the advantage, and, and St Kilda seem to have the harder draw there. So, um, as we said earlier, I think it's quite a fair system um, and a way to be able to try and at least make things a little bit equal and make a little bit more sense about the draw. I think.